So NBA 2K23 has been out for almost two months now, and it just feels like that everybody and their mama is using the lockdown build. I mean, 99 steel, Hall of Fame glove. I mean, if you can't beat them, join them. But today, man, I'm going to be showing y'all my new 3 and D point. You know what I'm saying? My ISO lockdown build, you know, I can fade threes on this build. It can spot up. Of course, y'all see by the clips on the screen. And of course, by being a 3 and D point, you know, 99 steel, you're going to be able to get a whole lot of steals just because you have Hall of Fame glove. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I had showed y'all boys that 6-7, you know, lock build and also a 6-4 lockdown build. But today, the build I'm showing y'all today is like my actual build that I'm going to be playing on. So just in case y'all boys want to make this build, man, let's go ahead and hop into it. Now, before we go into it, though, man, just, just wait one minute, you know what I'm saying? If y'all new to the channel, make sure you hit that sub button, man. Like the video. And plus, it's only like 90% of y'all that's not subscribed to the channel. I mean, I'm dropping these bangers. We trying to hit that 1.2, you know, sub, 1.2K subs. So if y'all can do that, man, make sure y'all, you know, I said, just hit the bell, man. I mean, ain't really, it's free, to be honest with y'all. Let's go ahead and hop into the My Player Builder, man. So with this build name obviously coming out as a 3 and D point, what you basically want to do, man, is def it's definitely going to be at the point guard position, but height is going to be 6'6". Six, six. I'm going to put my weight all the way to 220. Wingspan is definitely going to be at 7'3". Then body shape, uh, I went with defined, you know what I'm saying? Because I just want to look, you know, like kind of burly looking, but not so burly looking. But like I said, that, that body shape is up to you. Now, getting into the attributes, man, I'm going to start off. I'm going to do something different, you know what I'm saying? Because I want to be different. I don't want to be like everybody else. What we're going to do, man, we're going to start off with the defense first. So, we're going to put this all the way to 99. You'll, you'll still, of course, put your perimeter defense right at uh, 86. Because, you know, by this being an ISO lockdown build, I really don't care to have gold clamps or Hall of Fame clamps. All I really care about is y'all see on the screen that Hall of Fame glove and that silver clamps. Because I can still body people up good with silver clamps. And then, of course, with our interior defense, we're going to put that at 70 for right now. And then we're going to put our block right at 75 just so we can have that gold chase down artist and uh, bronze anchor. That's all you really need to be an ISO lockdown build because you're going to be dribbling the ball. You're an ISO lock for a reason. And then our defensive rebound, we're going to keep that at 50 right now. Physicals, acceleration 85, speed 90, strength. Might keep that at 75 or 70. Matter of fact, we're going to go 70. We're going to keep the vertical at 60 just so we can get them quick drops off one because we're not really worried about getting contact dumps on this build as long as at that as long as i can you know have that silver limitless takeoff and them quick drops that's all i really need to dump the ball so we're gonna keep that at 60. now we're gonna be going back up to our finishes so a driving dunk put that at 80 like i said 80 uh driving dunk 60 vertical quick drops off one driving layup 70 close shot 60. we're gonna leave that for right now we're gonna come back to this now with our three point shooting we're gonna put this at 85 just so just so uh y'all see in tier three y'all got agent threes uh silver and silver limitless range on an iso lot bill i mean what more can you ask for then we're gonna come down here to playmaking now here's where it's gonna get kind of tricky because you know i'm saying we already 90 overall so ball handle we're gonna put that right at 85 just so we can get the necessary dribble moves that we need speed with ball 75 which is not really gonna matter because you have an 85 acceleration that way you can still speed boost and get your threes off and then we're gonna put our uh, pass accuracy at 75 now look I know y'all saying like, okay, hold on. As a matter of fact, let me back out. Y'all see the badge points: 12, 18, 18, and 22. Now, if y'all if y'all uh, not worrying about limitless range, you know what I'm saying you could drop your three point at 83 and put your acceleration at 80. That give you some more points. Cause I know y'all probably talking about, bro, he has no finishing, bro. It doesn't really matter. But anyway, like I said, you put the you drop the three pointer down two points and put your uh your acceleration down 80. You have an 80 driving lip, and now almost a set 80 close shot. I mean, that way you'll be able to finish at the rack. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, it's up to you what you really want to do. That's why I'm showing y'all kind of like two different variations of the build, kind of in one, just so y'all can get an understanding about what y'all want to do. But really, for me, I'm not really worried about finishing at the rim. I'm, I'm, I'm more so worried about, you know, the, that silver limitless range, as y'all can see, limitless range. I mean, limitless takeoff in Tier 3. And then, you know, just dunking the ball with quick drops off one. So, really, plus you get the extra badges. Five extra badges, really, if you hit level 39 for season one. Really, six if you hit it again, you know, already. That'd be six extra badge points. So, really, for me, I don't really care about the extra badge points I get with finishing. You know, I want that 85-3, just like I have silver agent threes and silver limitless range. And then I'm going to put my acceleration back on 85, just like that. That's just for the people that... If y'all feel like y'all make this build, y'all not going to have enough finishing. You know what I'm saying? That's just for y'all. So, yeah, there it go. But really, uh, let me go ahead and max this out to 99. And then here are the badge points. Like I said, you still get six extra, extra badge points now that we in Season 2. You hit level 39. So, 
you can really put three on defense and uh when well, that's two that's three and three i'll put three on uh matter of fact nah nah i wouldn't even do that what i'll do really i'll put four or five on your finishing and then i'll just put one on defense that way you have what i say four or five on finishing that'd be 17 my bad i'm tripping that'd be seven all right yeah i'm tripping bro bro i ain't been in school in a minute you know not to say i'm old i'm just saying like i ain't i like as soon as i graduated high school i was done but anyway man like i said that will be 17 bass points on your finish and then 23 on your defense, man. Now with the takeovers, like I said, you are a catfish lockdown. So what I run on my lock bill, as y'all can see in the clips or uh, in the beginning of the video, I run double perimeter bass drop. Why? Because if you double this up, say they have gold. I mean, say if they have Hall of Fame unpluckable. When, and plus, I already got accelerator. So if you got this activated, you get a couple steals and a couple like pass deflections in a block you already got accelerated in like three four plays now you got a double perimeter bass drop his hall of fame unpluckable is going to drop down the silver unpluckable now you got the 99 steal in the hall of fame glove that's why we not worried about you know gold clamps hall of fame clamps because that 99 steel is overpowered you're gonna be getting steals all day especially when you need that it's always one moment in the game when you need that one stop and the whole momentum of the game changes, and that's gonna be it right there. And as y'all can see, man, Shades of Alonzo Ball, Kenny Smith, Drew Holiday. Like I said, it's a three and D point. Y'all already knew that because I told y'all earlier in the video. Now, until we put them extra bash points on, I'm not I'm just gonna skip over finishing. So really shooting. Y'all already know, man. Gold guard up, amped, green machine on. So that's what's that? That's like already seven agent threes. Put that on, core that, get them points back, limitless range, and then I'll probably put this on volume shooter and that's that's what i would do with my finish matter of fact that is what i'm gonna do with my finishing once i max my lock and build out and now the playmaking quick first step unpluckable you should already know that clamp breaker gotta have that on i'll put a uh, court at you know get them points back put killer combos on uh you're not really gonna need mismatch expert because i don't know you might it depends because you know what i'm saying a lot of build a lot of people are six eight six nine point guards and we six six so I don't know, that kind of depends. You know, that would have to be up to you. Then I'll put needle thread on silver. That needle thread of badge work too, if y'all haven't noticed. And then this is where it gets fun at. We got them 22 badge points for defense. Y'all already know, man. Put that gold chase down on. Gold pick dodger. That's already 10. Put that glove on. Get them points back. Clamps. And then what else you got? You need that workhorse. I wouldn't put it on Hall of Fame. I'll just put it on. I'll keep it right there. And put that anchor on. And man, really, that's all you need. Really, you got all your defensive badges. Oh snap, I forgot about Challenger. I mean, you're a lockdown, so you know, perimeter badge drop, like I said, it doubles up. So, all them shooting badges really gonna drop down to bronze, really, because not many guards on this game got Hall of Fame shooting badges, you know, unless you got a 99 3. So, you're you not gonna really need Challenger, man. You still got an 86 perimeter defense, so you'll be straight, man. But this your boy DJ Man, I'll catch y'all in the next video, man. And I'm out, y'all.